It's fifth race post time from Mohawk. Fifth race, third division of the 2004 and inaugural Casual Breeze Stakes. And they're off and trotting, and Zorki Vekimani has just followed the gate away and pushed it away with her nose. Along the inside comes Have You Ever, off stride in between Phillies was Trophy Hall, charging up on the outside, Mystical Sunshine is up into the top trio. Blues by UC took a neat tuck over from fourth, and Blossom Sealster is in line from fifth, but Crimmings was off stride. Just ahead of Cassat, Hawaiian Viva, Rant and Rave, and the first turn breaker in the three hole was Have You Ever. Have You Ever, Crimmings made a break, so did Trophy Hall. The opening quarter was 27 and 3, and the three with the inside post positions all made breaks. But we have seven remaining into the back stretch, and as expected, Zergive Kimani sets the tempo and gets the front end respect. Mystical Sunshine trotting along in second. Blues by UC is there in third. Blossom Sealster inherited fourth. Cassad is fifth. Hawaiian Viva six. Ran and Rave is seventh. Crimmings is gapped out in eighth, but landed back down trotting. Have you ever refusing to trot from ninth? The distance trailer was Trophy Hall. Zergive Kimani up at the half. In 58 seconds, Zorgia Veiki Mani onto the final turn. Trotting along in second has been Mystical Sunshine all the way for the trip. Blues by UC is third Blossom Sealster. First two sacrifice on a two to five favorite. Doug Brown brought her off the cones from fourth. Cassad is going to follow second over into the top five at head stretch. Hawaiian Viva is six. Rant and Rave seventh at the outside. The last three crimmings have you ever and Trophy Hall. Zorgia Veiki Mani Blossom Sealster is up to the wheel at head stretch. 128 three-quarter time and the sprint is on down the lane in the fifth race third division of the 2004 and inaugural casual breeze stakes Zorgia Vekimani trying to wire the field Blossom Sealster on the outside Mystical Sunshine had the pocket trip Cassad is fourth Zorgia Vekimani and Kevin Wallace will just ease her up to the wire a powerful front end winner again was Zorgia Vekimani over Mystical Sunshine Blossom Sealster third Cassad was fourth five six seven eight in the Superfecta, Zorgivik, Imani 155 and 4. Five Zorgivik, Imani returns to the Mohawk Winner Circle. Winner of the third division of the inaugural and 2004 Casual Breeze Stakes. The Valley Meister, three-year-old Bay Philly from Super Charming. Owned by the cousin stable of Boca Raton, Florida. Trained by Linda Wallace and driven to victory by Kevin Wallace. Undefeated she is in four starts this year. 155-4 and four in the fifth race for Zorgive Kimani. Thanks again to members of the Duran family who campaigned the great Philly casual breeze. Namesake of this series doing the winner circle presentation to fifth race winner Zorgive in victory, Zorgi Vekimani returned 280. Pick three concluded on the fifth race. 29.05. Five and six exact or 580, the Superfecta 5678. Perfect four for four now. Uh, Kevin Wallace joining me, the winning driver. Kevin, uh, tonight looked pretty much like another uh, uh, easy one for her despite the uh, short margin of victory. Uh, yeah, she seemed really comfortable and uh, she did what was necessary. and. Uh, I couldn't ask any more of her this year. She's been perfect. Would you say that's her best attribute, uh, the fact that she's so handy and so versatile? Yeah, it sure helps uh, to have a horse like that. It uh, improves your chances a lot, and, uh, you know, she's, she's that way. She's just that handy. Just quickly take us back to the end of last year when you purchased the, uh, the filly. Uh, what did you see in her at that point, and has she exceeded expectations so far this year? Uh, the cousin stable, which is uh, Shelby, Novick, and uh, Ken... Uh, Solomon uh, picked her out, and uh, they get all the credit. Uh, I, they did every did the purchase uh, on their own, and uh, they deserve a lot of credit for doing what they did. And uh, we can expect, I guess, to see her up this way for the next few weeks with some of the big uh, stakes ahead at Woodbine. Uh, she has the uh, elegant image uh, next week in uh, in Woodbine. All right, looking forward to seeing her in that. And you're going to be behind Double Creme here in the next race. Just a quick thought on her raced uh, very well at Hazel Park in the Roserette. Yeah, that's uh, 51 and 4, the really big mile there, and uh, she's a real nice filly also. Yeah, expecting good things from her tonight? I think so, yeah. All right, good luck with her as well, Kevin, and uh, good luck with Zorg Vigamani the rest of the way. Thanks a lot. She gets it done tonight as the heavy favorite in our third casual breeze division. We've got to let Kevin go, as mentioned, a drive coming up here in race number six.